Tishomingo Refuge is a migratory bird refuge, uh, predominantly for waterfowl management. A refuge is set aside for wildlife to come first. We do allow public use, uh, but it's uh, predominantly wildlife first, and that's our uh, number one goal is uh, to protect and, and restore habitat for wildlife. We have over 275 species of birds that use Tishomingo Refuge, so uh, uh, it's an excellent place to bird. Uh, as far as Christmas bird counts, I think we've had the top numbers for the state of Oklahoma the last five years. It's where the east meets the west in the cross timbers, so you have a great intermixing of species, a species richness that you don't find in lots of other places. So we have lots of opportunities. You can come out and picnic, uh, bird watch. Uh, we have an auto tour road. Uh, we also have a Craven Nature Trail, which is a three quarter of a mile hiking trail, so folks can come out and hike. This is part of a operational farm that was built in the early 20s, Washita Farms. And uh, where the pavilion is, that is actually where the old Washita schoolhouse was, and they had their own school here. And uh, the rock wall was part of the school. These abandoned buildings, these concrete buildings that you see, are all uh, part of the residential farms uh, for tenant farmers that worked on the Washita farms. The interesting part uh, to me is that they built these buildings completely out of concrete. Uh, and it's amazing, they've just stood the test of time. And I think we've taken on the policy now of just trying to, to utilize and restore as many of them as we can uh, for our purposes and historical purposes. I think it's a, it's a great legacy for the American American people that uh, you know we're um, entrusted uh, part of our land to wildlife, and I think it's a great opportunity for folks to come out and see it and uh, realize that you know they can come out and volunteer here, they can come out and utilize this. So it's it's a great opportunity for folks.